I need. That was box squats. Uh, keep forgetting how tough this week actually is because I think that just because it's only fives uh, and I'm only running, you know, 77 and a half percent, something like that, that it's not that bad. But even my warm ups are fives. So it's 65 for five, uh, it's what, 72 for five. And then uh, four sets of, of uh, 77 and a half for five. What got me was on my raw warm-up sets, um, I don't know, something in my knee just went crazy and, and really hurt. I really think that the more that I turn my feet out, uh, the more stress that I definitely put on my knees. As I turn my feet kind of square and point them straight, I'm never pressing down against the floor, ever, when I squat. Not with a wide stance, with a close stance, I'm pushing down on the floor, driving myself up into the air. But with a wide stance, I'm getting my feet out and I'm twisting inside my shoes onto the carpet to create the most torque. That's where I get a ton of my power from. I mean, that's, that's, where race, that's how race cars take off. That torque, if you don't have strong grip, you're not going to take off uh, nearly as fast. Now, you know, you look at a boxer drives off that back foot. If that back foot slips, when he goes to throw any punch, that punch isn't going to have any power. So that foot, your feet have to be really dug in. And the torque has to be created from the feet. I can't sit still. Um, so I got my sets done, and I've just been getting this itch for the last couple of days to put more gear on so I added a plate figured out some numbers added a plate added my uh, another layer of brief, briefs on top those were hard to get on took me a while um, and you can see from the set that I did that it makes my knees cave in that's why you never you always take warm-ups with the gear on you never you, you always put the gear on one set before you think you're gonna need it uh, because your first set is just the briefs getting set, S-E-T, you know, put into position. And you don't want that to happen with a heavy weight. So you can see when I did that, it pulled my knees in and that rep was really, really ugly. But putting the suit on, I can use the straps to get under uh, the hook here on the rack. I can hang down, I can pull it up uh, and it will help pull up my briefs as well. I can get everything much more into a better position 
Last set here. I don't know the weight. Uh, let me see, that's 308 plus 90, 398 plus 90, 488 plus 11, 499 and the clips uh, 500 plus the chains is that would be 570 plus 55 625 so that's roughly what that is it's nothing crazy um, on this bar it's not bad for me considering I haven't done anything heavy in a long time and it was after all my fives and I haven't had my gear on in a long time so and my knee felt really funky I also couldn't put my knee wrap on because I was putting the knee wrap on my thigh so I know that the knee pain is actually coming from the hip down the IT band and across uh, so I know where it's coming from I know where to work on it but uh, w once I got my second layer of reefs on I couldn't reach my knee uh, to get everything to get the knee wrap on so um, I just had to make sure everything was perfect and I was just doing singles anyway so really had no business doing this at all absolutely none especially after my knee started hurting I should have backed off and took a deload but I didn't uh, I know that next week is one set of five, uh, probably around 85%, 80 to 85%. I'll have to look at the math and the chart. And uh, right now i got to tear this down so I can get in the back room and do my glute ham raises, my pull-ups, and my push-ups, and then get home. So tomorrow's a holiday, guys. Cypress Independence Day, October 1st. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow.
guys, finishing off a Wednesday here. Man, I feel really, really pumped, uh, big and thick. I don't think showing up on camera, but I, I finished off uh, four sets of seven on glute ham raises. It's the most I've done in a long time. Hamstrings are absolutely fried back there, um, and they're fried in the areas that I've torn them. So it's big that I'm getting those muscles that were torn. They are firing, they are functioning. I'm able to get those working. Uh, I hope I can make those stronger so they don't tear again, at least not for a long doggone time. Back in here with the push-ups on the SS yoke bar. Man, I went really, really heavy on those today with short rest periods. Uh, it, it is a lot of pecs, it's a lot of triceps, but it's a crap ton of rear delts because when you set up and you get your hands on that bar, you're having to spread out to stay into position. So the way I've got that set up, especially with the heavier ones, I'm having to walk it out and spread and lock in. A lot of rear delts, it's good for the bench press, good for the overhead press, good for the atlas stones as well. Fed me direct into some chin-ups some pull-ups. Didn't have much left when I got there. Those rear delts and lats uh, were completely fried from the push-ups and everything else that I've done today. Did what I could, opted for no neutral grip this week, letting my bicep actually rest a little bit instead of pushing it. I'm getting out of here to go, and go home and uh, get some good nutrition in. We can load some sandbags and stones tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys.